Lisa Van Sleet, Associate Curator of Mammals. We are so excited to share that we've had our first Sumatran tiger cub born here at the Dallas Zoo since 1948. Sukasita and Kawasa were paired up as part of a breeding program through the Tiger Species Survival Plan, and on August 2nd, we were overjoyed to welcome their cub into the world. The team has decided to name our little girl Sumini. Sumini is the name of a woman in Indonesia who founded and leads a team of all-female rangers out in Sumatra where they look for poachers, look for snares, and also work to stop deforestation in the area to protect tigers. Sukasita did not produce enough milk, so we made the difficult decision to intervene and hand raise the cub. This decision was not made lightly, and we did it together with the Species Survival Plan, tiger experts, and all of our management and veterinary team here at the Dallas Zoo. We are currently bottle feeding Sumini five times a day, and we've even begun to introduce meat into our diet, which she is very excited about. In an effort to be as hands-off as we can with this cub, we have stuffed animals in there that are tigers that can mimic siblings, which tend to give them a little bit of support even while they're bottle feeding to hold their bodies upright. We're just there for the bottle feeding and then stepping back. Our tiger building is set up where we have bedrooms right next to a transfer chute. So in that transfer chute, we're able to set up this little playpen that acts plexiglass side. It gives us access to her when we need to go and interact with her, but it's a safe place where she can just kind of hang out and take in all the sights and smells of the other tigers in our building. So as Sumini grows, we are trying to give her other opportunities to build her muscles and to explore new places and environments and smells and sounds. So to do this, we've started doing a little bit of exercise time where she is outside where the other tigers can see her in a different light and gets to kind of crawl around and build those leg muscles. We're starting to see her personality come out. And one way that she's shown that is when we're doing her exercise time, she has chuffed at us. And that is just the sweetest, most wonderful sound that we could hear out of a tiger that they use as a greeting to one another and just as a, a calming, happy sound. Sumini's birth is really meaningful to all of us here at the Dallas Zoo. Sumatran tigers are only found on the island of Sumatra, part of Indonesia. They are considered a critically endangered species and they're thought to only have around 400 individuals left in their natural habitat. And they're really climbing an uphill battle Sumini will not be out on Habitat for the time being while she's under our care behind the scenes, but we will keep you updated on what might be next for her. Tigers have been a passion for me most of my career here at the Dallas Zoo. It's something that I hadn't aimed for when I entered this field, but they're a species that I fell in love with as soon as I met them. And to finally be able to share this little girl with all of you and to contribute to the population at large just means the world to us and is a huge accomplishment for us and our team.